Good morning, Hyeniacs! Welcome to another episode of Dark Souls, and today I'm actually gonna help you guys out a bit because, you know, as I've been play doing this uh, playthrough, I haven't really doing a lot of soul farming between cuts. I mean, I've done it here and there, but, um, you know, the other day when I got totally swarmed here and kind of gave up on recording for that day, um, well, what had happened was I had gotten pretty far through the level, and as I was trying to remember where the other bonfire was, you know, I ended up messing up because there was a trap that was reactivated after I'd cleared out the area and turned it off. So, that happened, but either way, I'm going to show you guys a little tip um, just for this first part here for soul farming, and then we'll continue. I'm gonna try and not step on that platform, but it will be helpful in a moment. We have two guards in here, so we just get them to chase us. Once they start, yeah, once they get like right there, step on the platform, some arrows will fly out. Usually, if you can get them to stay in a straight line, it'll take one of them out, which does make it a little bit easier. Um, you can bait these guys basically one at a time if you want. I prefer to just get them both, um, get it done out of the way, because I mean you're gonna get roughly about a thousand souls just between these two, um, which is, you know, I spent a lot of time last night um, farming, leveling up, upgrading weapons and equipment, which is why I'm finally able to use this sword now. But either way, you know, you just kind of do it like that, um, hopefully better, um, kind of rinse and repeat. I'll show you guys this one more time, see if we can do it just a little bit smoother and then we'll go forward so here we go bum, 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 bum. so also just gonna point out that I am trying to get back on track with recording here hopefully because I had explained in my apology video you know stuff that was going on but I wanna get this done early oh, okay I guess I'm only getting chased by one at a time at this point whatever still works don't care um, you know, not gonna worry about him too much with the pyromancy if it's just gonna be him right now. But the thing about these guys is you just want to keep a good distance, but you don't want to get too far away because they do have an extremely powerful lunging attack, which I'm sure if I end up fucking up through this playthrough at least once, we'll end up seeing it. Nope, screw you, sir. Excuse me. There we go. Yay! I am Slayer of Lizard Peoples. Now, there's going to be some things I took care of in the last episode that I'm not going to attempt to do right now. Such as, if you go down there, A, there's a bunch of uh, Titanite guards. As you can see, I didn't do anything with any of them because there's just too much shit going on. As you can see on the lower level there, there's actually three um, female lizard guards that shoot lightning at you as well as, well, as we already know, the titanite demons do. But, again, not messing with all that. If anything, I'll put in the bonus footage from the last episode because there's actually, I think it's, yeah, right there that you can see a small opening. Takes you up right up to there, and as soon as you get up there, there's going to be an illusionary wall in front of you. Um, if you hit it, it'll bring you up to another level where there's a giant you can kill. Which, again, you'll end up seeing, because I'll, I'll throw the bonus clip into there from the last episode, but literally the last time playing this, I mean, that was probably about the most productive thing that I had accomplished. Everything else was just a whole total death fest. So, we'll wait for him to come around. Hopefully he'll just get knocked over, but there is a chance that he won't. Oh, <clears throat> almost. There he goes. Now we can proceed. Also, when you drop down there, if you decide to drop... Oh, I probably should, because... Whatever. Um, anyways, if you do decide to go all the way down, make sure you have the rusted iron ring on, because it's pretty much all black tar down there, so it makes it a little bit difficult to maneuver without it. But, let's see. Yeah, that's one of the female lizard guards I was just talking about a little bit ago. They're a bitch. If 
for every goddamn reason, because if she knocks me back even a little bit here, if I'm too close to those um, blades, it'll knock me down. If it doesn't kill you, it'll just fuck up your whole day, to say the least. Alright, what do we got here? Oh yeah, we got one of those dudes sleeping. Might be able to get him with a drop. There we go. Oh shit! Come on. This is a good time to heal. But I don't want to have my back facing that way because sometimes there's another guard that'll come up behind me and try to take me like a bit. <gasps> oh, cool. I'm glad I got that before he fell. Yeah, sometimes they'll drop those, and even if you don't want them, although they are pretty good helpful weapon at times, but even if you don't want it, uh, you can feed it to what's his name back in Firelink. Oh shit, totally forgot that that's where I just came from. It's been a long night, Hyeniacs. Alright, I want to wait for the boulder to come down first. Unless they're not dropping on this side. What ifs? What ifs, game devs? Alright. I'm just gonna... Either wait for her to come down here, which it looks like she will. Um... A part of me really wants to take a chance and just go straight up to the main room here. Uh, that's right, there's there's a chest here, um, so we want to actually be in here. I just wanted to kill her first, otherwise she will sneak up behind you. And there's a trap behind me, but there's also another lizard man up here by the chest. Yep, there he is. Just waiting for him to get aggro. Come on. At least took care of most of it. Well, pow! What in the sphincter? Yeah, this is really where you want to be careful because it gets a little dicey here. Oh shit! Didn't realize it was still there. So, we'll just wait a moment. Okay. Now we can go! Oh! Fuck! Right there! Right. Come on! Get up! And roll. Oh god. That'll give you a migraine. That's for sure. Let's see. I've already explored the majority of this, so I'm just going to go up here. Just wait for those to go off. It's amazing how you make it further in, and then that trap is just all the more obvious than all the ones that came before. It's almost like the game's way of going, you control yourself if you want. Oh, God. Okay. Just want to time this right. And there we go. Oh, lizard man. Wapow. Wapow. Cool. Now, we just. Oh, one of these bitches. Come on. Come on. You ain't shit. Nope. Ain't getting me this time. Not this time. Okay. Oh, shit. There's lightning. Okay. 
shit, shit, shit. Ah! Uh, whoops. Well, I knew I'd fuck up eventually. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it and then pick up from where I was. Alright, guys, welcome back. Just recovered my souls. Um, oh, shit. You know, I can target her from here, so let's play a little game of magic. There we go. Because if I don't have their, her there, like, distracting me, should make this part just a little bit easier. There we go. Okay. Okay, we made it. So. Let's go see. I don't know. I couldn't remember if there was any bonus stuff over here or not, but. Okay, we shall keep going then. Fog wall! God, if only the fog gates actually worked like real checkpoints. Eh, there's the main boss that we're going to end up fighting at some point. Let's see. Now. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like us. Oh, shit, there's another one. Drop down. Come on, baby, light my fire. Now, I need to kindle the fire as well as restore my humanity, so we will use one of our neat little twin humanities. Let's see. First, we does this. Yay, I'm human! Then we candle. Now I don't think I'll have enough to um, level up or anything, so we'll just leave that alone. Go through this way. Because I mean, at least if I die now, I, I've actually made progress, and there's a, you know, I don't got to go all the way back from the beginning. Let's see, shit, this is back here. Can't, I can't tell if that female lizard bitch is back or not, but whatevs. I'll go over here just to be safe. Because this is where she would be standing in there, she is. Come on, look at her. There we go. How is you alive? Whatevs. Don't care. Let's see. I don't think I want to take that pitfall. But we will go back up here. And go the other way. Keep throwing your hissy fit. Literally. Oh, potato! Oh, look. It's another tower knight. Come on. That's right. You bash into nothing. Dick. Oh, I thought I had the backstab for a second. Nope. What ifs? He's dead, and that's all that matters. I don't have any idea 
Oh, okay, I think that goes up to the main boss. So, before we do that, <laughs> let's just fuck around with other shit first. Now, I know some of you might be wondering at this point, how do you not know if you've played this before? Well, my Let's Plays of, you know, the Souls games are kind of half-blind. Because, yes, I have played and beaten them before. However, it's been... Okay, before my Let's Play, even starting with Demon Souls, it's been well over a year from that point since I had played a Souls game. So... Just cut me a little bit of slack. I'm trying to figure out how the hell... Okay, there's got to be one like right there or something. Either way... I just, I think I want to go here. At least stop. Okay. Nah, I'll, I'll go this way. But either way, as I was saying, these are technically half-blind because, you know, when you go so long without playing one of these games and you start playing other games in your life, yeah, you tend to forget stuff. So. Either way. Let's see, where are we? Is this an illusionary wall? No, it is not. Jesus, boulders. Holy cripes. I wonder. I didn't do shit. Didn't even aggro him. He's just like, was that a mosquito? Fuck, how would he even know? He probably can't even feel... One of the mosquitoes from fucking uh, Valley of Defilement, or God, what was that level I was just in just a few episodes ago? Oh, yeah, Blight Town. He probably can't even feel those. Oh boy. And I think I heard giant footsteps just above here. Well, either way, this will be fun. Why, hello there. Really don't appreciate you trying to kill me, dude. It's not cool. Okay. Yep, this must be where the boss is. Otherwise, I don't think this tower would be shaking so much. Well, there's definitely a thing right there. Okay. I couldn't remember if he could cheat. Okay, he can cheese me through the wall. He can. Shit. Okay. I know what that attack means. Haha, -ha, I shanked you right in the head. This is the time to run away. Alright, he's only got a few hits left on him. Unless he just slowly bleeds out, that'd be nice. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait for that to take effect. Oh, I, I poisoned him. Cool. You know, I totally didn't even know that this sword did that because I never got it on my first playthrough. Or my first time playing this game, as I should specify. Let's see, either way, that's one less to deal with, and... Ah, uh, yes. The true Tower Knight of this game. 
twenty if I can. Well, come on. Oh, am I out of arrows? Well, that sucks. But I think what I'm going to do, since I'm running, wait. Oh boy, no, no. We will save that for next time. Because I'm pretty much out of time here, so. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with my boner to get back to the bonfire, you know, make a little heat for myself. And I will see you guys next time. Love you, hyeniacs. Yep, there's a little opening over here we can go up. And again, I just don't feel like dealing with all this right now. There's a lot more leveling I need to do. However, where I'm going is gonna... It might screw me over a little bit because there is a giant that I'm gonna try and kill. And he's a little tough. Or he can be. So we just go up here. You know what? Um, I'm gonna switch back to my mace. It does a little less damage, but it's just a lot easier for swinging. So go with that, plus maneuverability is pretty vital, which reminds me, there we go, hey look at that booty shake, look at that booty bounce, and there he is, we just, like most enemies, just want to be able to spank him, you want to be able to move maneuver around him, don't get caught off guard, okay, Maybe if I swing to the right? Yep, okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, shit. Okay, now he's a bit more vulnerable. And that's exactly what we want. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm doing nothing. Okay. It's because I was still aiming at his feet instead of actually hitting his head, so I was probably just bumping him in the shoulders. Oh! Cookie crisp! See, you should be like your cousin and eat a lot of green beans. It'd be a lot better for your, uh... Oh shit, I forgot I could do that. Like, I've memorized most of his moves, but there are times where the enemies will still catch me off guard. Alright, take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, he's not gonna do that. Okay. Oh, here he goes. So just try to stay back a bit, run up, and fuck you. And there we go. Well, that is how you best the giant. Get a nice tight night chunk. I don't remember if there's any more or any other way to go from here. No, I think I think that does it for this uh, little spot here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't advise jumping down. Just so you know. All right. Now the next part's gonna require me to run through a fucking tar pit. Okay. Oh, hi there. Oh, looks like he's stuck. Cool. Wait. How many enemies were stuck there? Oh, either way, I'm not gonna complain. Oh my god, I think that's actually the one I knocked down earlier. Oh, okay, there's another platform here. Cool. Okay. I... Oh, okay, now I'm back near the entrance, I think. 